Around the country, 94 cases of a mysterious lung illness have been reported in young adults linked to vaping. The CDC and state health departments are now investigating those hospitalizations in 14 states from June 28th to August 15th of this year. One teen in particular, 18-year-old Chance Amarada, made headlines yesterday after going to the emergency room about three weeks ago. He posted these photos and videos to Instagram with tubes in his chest after his lung collapsed. Amarada said he started using Juul e-cigarettes about two years ago and had never smoked prior. He has now started a social media campaign, hashtag lung love, to convince others to get rid of their jewels. Now, family physician Dr. Jen Cottle is here to discuss this story and the health effects of vaping. Dr. Cottle, thanks for joining us here today. Absolutely. A very concerning story, especially given these pictures and the specifics that we have for Chance. Right. From a doctor's perspective, what exactly ha happens to Chance? So, it, it, my understanding from his story with the lung collapse and the 94 cases that we're seeing throughout the country, my understanding is that they're different scenarios. Okay, so when we're talking about the, the episodes that are happening throughout the country, let's isolate that out, okay? Because we're not seeing lung collapse in those patients. What we're seeing in those cases throughout the country is that uh, people are coming into the emergency rooms with cough, shortness of breath, they've got fatigue, they've got um, you know all sorts of symptoms. It kind of looks like a pneumonia, but it actually is not. And many of these patients have gotten so ill with their lungs that they end up having to be in the ICUs and have trouble breathing, etc. And and that's sort of the rash of cases that we're seeing and that's what the CDC is investigating. And why is vaping so dangerous? Does it differ from the different types of cartridges? So if it's marijuana versus nicotine? So, you know, when we talk about vaping, there's a couple things we should understand. First of all, is that, um, you know, when, when people talk about vaping, many different substances can be vaped. And, and that's one of the things in question with these lung cases that we're seeing throughout the country. The CDC does not know why this is happening. Doesn't know why these 94 cases plus of people are coming in with these symptoms. The one thing they have in common is the vaping, but they don't know if it's what they're smoking, if it's a particular cartridge, if it's a brand. Not really sure what that is. But the thing about e-cigarettes, keep in mind, uh, there's nicotine in them. They can be highly addictive if we're talking about tobacco products. And there's all these other chemicals, many of which we don't actually know what they are, and we don't know the final side effects necessarily of them. So in some ways, I think it's the wild, wild west when it comes to e-cigarettes uh, and vaping. To well, that we don't point, know. it seems like the popularity of vaping has far outpaced the rate at which researchers yes. can keep up, doctors, scientists. Absolutely. What do we know at this point? How much research has been done? Well, that's why we're concerned, right, is first of all, e-cigarettes are not approved for the use in kids, but we know that the use in kids has skyrocketed exponentially. More kids are vaping than they are smoking cigarettes. It's good they're not smoking cigarettes as much, but the vaping is a problem. We know that nicotine in the developing brain actually may affect the way the brain develops, and it's highly addictive. There are lots of problems, not to mention all these other chemicals that we don't have research about. It's so one of the reasons why something I've always felt about we need high, you know we need to regulate uh, e-cigarettes and vaping more and more. This is something the FDA has taken a look at, but that's the problem, right? We don't. There's a lot we just don't know. And I think as doctors are trying to figure out what's going on in all these cases, I mean, it really is like like a game of Clue almost. The CDC is literally saying, okay, well, what's what's the common denominator here if there is one? And you mentioned some of these cases have symptoms similar to pneumonia. So yeah, right. for people who vape and start to right. experience symptoms, what are sort of the red flags yeah. that tell you, okay, I need to go to a doctor or to a hospital now? Excellent. That's a great question, especially since we're having all of these cases happening now, this rash of cases. I would say for people who vape, and honestly, if you don't vape, I mean, right, like if you're having any of these symptoms, this is a reason to be looked at. But the cough, the chest pain, the shortness of breath, the fatigue, some of these patients are also having things like weight loss or having nausea, vomiting, things like that. This is what I would say. If you're not feeling well and you're not getting better and you're concerned, chances are I'm going to be concerned too. You should get checked out. And remember, if you do vape, especially in this population, you know, know exactly what you've been vaping. Tell your doctors and healthcare providers. Be very honest. Let us know. Let us know the brands. The CDC is actually collecting all of this information to try to put, put things together to see if there's a, again, a common denominator. So yeah, get help if you're concerned is the bottom line. Definitely. Some scary stuff here. Thank you so Absolutely. much for being on Cheddar News and telling us more. Dr. Jen Cottle. Thank you.